Tonight in Paris, heavy hearts. The city, the whole nation really, in mourning. This is one of the biggest symbols of Paris. It's quite striking here to see all the Parisians that come here to gather to mourn. I don't know what to say. For me, it's the most beautiful monument for Paris, better than Eiffel Tower. Notre Dame, Our Lady of Paris to those who live here, a landmark ravaged by flames. Today, the spire of this 850-year-old landmark burnt like a torch and finally collapsed. Oh. Caving in the roof. Did you see that? No! Engulfing the very center of this cathedral in flames. John Dickus watched it all from his apartment. My partner and I were, were standing on the balcony watching. That was the, the moment that she started crying when we, we watched that spire fall down. It, it's just, you know, it's such an, like an, an iconic part of, of the Paris skyline. French President Emmanuel Macron, tearful, called the blaze a terrible tragedy. President Trump had these words. The fire that they're having at the Notre Dame Cathedral uh, is something like few people have witnessed. It's one of the uh, great treasures of the world, and it's burning very badly. It looks like it's burning to the ground. Some of the first images from inside Notre Dame have now been released. The altar, where thousands would have flocked to celebrate Easter Sunday this week, now covered in ash. It took 500 firefighters to battle the flames. At times, they were powerless to stop them. There's, there's no question. I'll tell you, the, for me, the most heartbreaking moment was when I saw about 20, minute, about 20 minutes after I, I started watching the fire, I saw the, the ladders go up and, and the hoses start spraying. And it, it, was, just, it was just heartbreaking to watch. They, the ladders were not tall enough. The, the hoses were not strong enough. The first reports surfaced at 6.50 p.m. Paris time, an ominous image of smoke billowing from Notre Dame. So me and my mom were going on a sunset cruise on the Seine. Uh, just like a champagne cruise. And when I got on the boat, someone had texted me. One of my friends texted me saying, Notre Dame is on fire. And we couldn't see it at that point. But we were kind of shaken up and everyone was like, are you sure? Like, are you sure that's what's happening? And then our boat started going down the river and you could see the smoke just raising up. And then eventually we got next to it and you can just see the flames going up. And eventually the tower came down. Oh, 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 There's just a fire in the background. But we're no! To the horror of onlookers, flames then burst through the ceiling. The inferno raging out of control. Rescuers scramble to save some of the cathedral's priceless art and precious relics. Among them, a tiny piece of Christ's crown of thorns housed in the spire to protect against lightning and other harms. Miraculously, the main structure of the cathedral appears to have survived. Those two iconic towers at the end still standing. It took more than a century to build this church. Construction began in 1163. The two massive towers finished around 1245. Considered a triumph of French Gothic style, the building is French history carved in stone and watched over by gargoyles. This is one of the most important landmarks in France, still standing tonight, but smoldering as well. And a full assessment of how bad the damage is, we'll have to wait until first light. In the meantime, there's a feeling of great sadness here. And all along the Seine, people are singing hymns. Notre Dame survived the French Revolution. This is where Napoleon was crowned Emperor of France. It survived two world wars and the Nazi occupation, the heart of France. Its cultural significance cannot be underestimated. Victor Hugo immortalized Notre Dame with his hunchback, a story that Hollywood has told and retold over the years. I have chores to do. It, it, it was nice seeing you again. Oh. Notre Dame is said to be the most visited location in all of France. 13 million tourists a year. That's nearly double the foot traffic at the Eiffel Tower. The cathedral was undergoing a $6 million renovation project. Just days before, statues of the apostles were taken off the rooftop to be cleaned. So tonight they were spared. 
While the cause of this fire is not yet known, authorities are investigating if it might have been linked to the construction work. Now the reconstruction work will have to begin all over again, with much more damage to undo. Et nous rebâtirons. Nous rebâtirons Notre Dame. Macron has vowed to rebuild, but what stood for centuries could take a generation to restore. Excuse Can me. they rebuild? I don't know if I will be alive when they will finish to rebuild it. It will be very, very complicated. Complicated, yes, and tragic, too. But Notre Dame is the heart of Paris, and the French people are determined to do what they can to save it. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Paris. Our thanks to David. We'll have coverage throughout the night and first thing on GMA. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.